we just wash the hair. Yeah. You know, I work on my hair a long time and you, and you hit it. He hits my hair. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Dieter. This is Papa's Bar. Okay, my friends, it's the weekend. And today I'm going to have something special, which I really haven't done that much. Uh, reviewing cognacs. I, I reviewed a few cognacs, maybe two or three, but I reviewed like 30 vodkas, uh, 10 beers, 40 whiskeys, you know, and then and several other things, gin, you know, and rums. So I think it's time again, we're gonna review a cognac. Now, when I say cognac, cognac, brandy, you know, it's all the same, comes all from the same stuff. You know grapes it's just uh, cognac the name itself is protected because in france where the grapes come from it's called the cognac region so after world war one they uh, told everybody nobody can use the name cognac because cognac is, is a specific region in france where they grow the grapes to make their cognac out okay germany used to call their brandy uh, uh, cognac until after the First World War. And then with the treaty they had, uh, because they lost the war, so they had the new treaty and they were forbidden from using uh, the word cognac for their, uh, uh, it's actually called brand, brand wine now, brand wine, brandy, uh, in Germany, Weinbrand. Uh, with the Greek, it is the same. It was early known as a uh, uh, cognac, you know, because it's made out of grapes. But again, after the world, the, the first world war, uh, they had to conform to that too and couldn't call it cognac anymore. So they simply call it metaxa. Uh, they tried to call it brandy, which again, they couldn't do because, uh, uh, there are specific rules, regulations and laws that only certain things can be used in making brandy, cognac, you know. Uh, they use musgrave or muskrat uh, uh, grapes for that, a specific kind of uh, uh, grapes. So, and botanicals, which are not, I don't want to say standard, but let's say does not confirm to the regulation. So they just call it Metaxa now. I still call it Greek brandy, you know, or Greek cognac. I mean, once you drink it, you know what you got. Once you drink a French cognac. Here, let me show you. Uh, here, we got the French cognac. We got the German Brandwein, you know. It's all the same. It's all a brandy cognac kind of like stuff but there are little uh, uh, rules and regulations you know standards which uh, uh, can't be broken I guess they, 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 they got to confirm to the rules and regulations just like speeding you know you 35 miles per hour speed limit you got to confirm to even in other cities they drive 45 in the cities you know so it's just it's just silly Anyway, <coughs> to that. Now, uh, Metaxa is now made in, in Greece, of course, in Athens, Athens, Greece. I'm not sure if that is the capital of Greece or not. Uh, I, I haven't even researched that yet. I just know it's made in uh, Athens, Greece. Uh, the grapes they are uh, getting from Samos or Somos, Samos in, in Greece. This is where they get the grapes from. Uh, I don't know what they classify it now, but anyway, I, I, it's just simple, call it brandy. This is a seven star one. There is a five star Metaxa, a seven star Metaxa, and a 12 star Metaxa, which confirms to the years of the age of the spirit, you know. Five, I actually haven't, couldn't find a five star. This is a seven star, means seven years aged. Price point $40, so it better be worth the money. <laughs> oh, I got another bottle here I don't drink, you know. I still got a bunch of uh, American brandy, which I'm also gonna review. It's just, 
I'm not really a brandy drinker. I drink it, yeah, but it's not my drink of choice. You guys who already watching this channel for a while, you know what my drink of choice is, right? Okay, if you wanna know, keep watching this channel, okay, my friends? Speaking of that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel, like the video you're watching, okay? And tell your friends about it. That's all I'm asking for. It's nothing costs anything here. Uh, there's no marketing or anything. Everything here is me, a private person in a private bar. Also, this is not a commercial bar. There are not guests coming in and out here. This is my house. This is my bar I added on to my house because I wanted to have a bar. I always wanted to have a bar. And now I was able to build my bar and have my own bar. You know, <laughs> that's how it goes here. Okay, my friends, let's uh, go straight to here. Open that nice bottle. It's a simple twist cap, so I like corks better, but it's okay. But for $40, they should have put in a cork, not just a simple cheap metal twister, which does not seal the bottle 1000%. It's just eventually the spirit gonna deteriorate. But in order to combat that, you gotta drink it. Right? Okay, my friends, let's go to the nose. Wow, very, very sweet. No alcohol smell or ethanol or anything, nothing. This would be classified as a VSOP, very special old pail. There's three categories or four. A VS, very special, the sheep stuff. A VSOP, the medium size, very special old pail. And then XO, extra old pail. You know, so extra old, not pale, extra old. But this <laughs> is big, big price difference. We're talking about hundreds of dollars. Okay, I get some nice fruits in here, like plum and grapes, white grapes. Very fresh. Very pleasant. Non-offending, non-alcoholic. Uh, 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 spicy nose very very soft okay my friends let's go to the taste okay this one is for you guys again this is the first one i'm gonna review that i take one for you guys cheers my friends Wow, very, very smooth, sweet, kind of like honey, honey, honey sweet like. You get the fruits and you get the oak from the barrels. It's a slight uh, oily taste, if you know what I mean. Uh, what it means when you have an oily taste, it is, comes from the viscosity, from the viscosity of the spirit you're drinking. So it stays on your tongue longer, you know, in your mouth. It's a very pleasant, very nice, fruity, non-offending taste. That stuff is smoother than my German stuff here, Aspa, Weinbrand, German cognac, German brandy. This one is only three years old. This one is seven years old. So there's also a difference in how long a cognac or a brandy matures in the barrels, you know? So older, especially with cognac, so smoother a cognac is. This is why you pay out of your wazoo for an XO bottle, you know? You can pay up to $2,000 for a good one. It, it, uh, good cognac is not cheap. It's a, it's a luxury for most people to buy a good cognac. This one here was $30 some dollars, $32, uh, $40, $41. And this one was like $55. So, and out of those three, this one tastes the best so far. I'm really impressed with that. It is a nice bottle. It's a nice label. You know, 
it's it's a very nice spirit it's a 750 milliliter bottle as i say it's eight seven years because it's a seven star this is actually the first time i found it in a store you're not gonna find that at walmart or, or, or costco but yeah maybe costco because they import a lot you know just like aldi you find your german food at aldi like crazy they import that so but at gas station and stuff like that, I never seen it. I got it at Mechadoodles, where I got the head from. Uh, they specializing in uh, rare, especially whiskies and stuff. Rare vodkas is where I get all my vodkas and cognacs. But cognacs, they got maybe, well, I bought them all, but they have. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve different cognacs they got. And then they got some uh, really $8 cognacs I don't even consider to buy it because it's going to be junk, you know. So I bought all the cognacs they have at Mechadoodles and really this one is a gem. It's really nice. It's it's a good cognac. The color, uh, it's a little, I, I, I don't know if that is the original color or did, did they put coloring in there, which of course it does not matter to me. Uh, Food coloring is tasteless and odorless. It just makes the alcohol look better. That, that's all it is, you know. It's more appealing to the buyer, to the consumer, when you have a nice gold, and it is a nice color, you know. It's really nice. But there are some people out there who despite any spirit which got added, added color in there. So I, I don't know why, it does not bother me, you know. But besides that, I mean, it, it's really good uh, cognac or oh, brandy. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, price and crude, because it's pretty high price, $40, $44. Uh, on viscosity, on taste, on, on smell, it's really nice. I give it a 7.5. I can't give it any higher because I never had any XO, you know, because I'm not stupid and spend two thousand dollars on a, on a bottle of cognac now i can buy a new lawnmower for that you know and i need a new lawnmower so anyway uh yeah like i say it's it's a good stuff it's it's a good brandy it's imported from greece so it's not made here in the united states really really good and with that my friends i'll let you go uh another cheers if i would know what cheers in greece is in greek then I would do it. So I only can do it in English. Cheers or Prost in German. All right. Okay, my friends. Cheers. Mm. Absolutely delicious. This is stuff you can get drunk from. It tastes really fresh. Almost like Fruit juice for adults, okay? Fruit juice for adults. <laughs> Sitting here and watching a movie, having a beer with that, oh my God, perfect evening. Okay, my friends, I hope you tune back in. Please like the video if you like it. Tell your friends about the channel. Tomorrow I'm gonna make another video. Until then, I'm Dieter, this is Papa's Bar. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hasta la vista, baby.